Ooh, all right. So welcome again to be welcome. <laughs> welcome again to Military Guna TV, people. We're back again with another video. Um, Leon Bill is back in training. Now, I have something to say about that. I definitely have something to say about that because there's something around it that I really want to discuss with you guys. But before we get into that, I want you guys to smash the like button. Hit that subscribe button, people. As you know, I'm on road to 50k by the end of the year. Is it possible? We don't know. But you have to start from somewhere. As you know, in this world live, you gotta have dreams. If you don't have dreams, you don't go to sleep. It makes no sense to go to sleep. But anyway, smash the like button, people. Hit the subscribe button. And also, share the video. Let's get straight into the details of this. So, Leon Bill is back in training. Seems to be... Yeah, well, he's out for a while now. <laughs> Actually, out for a good while now. And he's back in training. As you know, the camaraderie is there. Um, loving a life in, in, in England, Aston Villa. But there's a few, there's some few things out I, I definitely want to speak to um speak to you guys about in, in accordance with Leon Bailey and how uh we see him going forward. No, we all know the talent that he has without a doubt, without any level of doubt. But there's other aspect of football rather than talent. Now, I think that the, the, the management aspect of Leon Bailey is where I find issues. I do find issues with that aspect of it because I do believe that not saying that it is not being managed properly, but I do believe that there's a lot more that could be done with Leon Bailey. There's a lot more that can be done with Leon Bailey. But as you can see, he's back loving life um with the players enjoying himself with the players now back to what i was saying i believe that his scheduling coming back can be a little bit ahead of schedule him coming back right now is slightly a little bit ahead of schedule now many people say that um the medical doctors know best and he's back just in time but people, um, the last time out, I think maybe about a week ago, they were saying that he's two weeks away from being fully, fully back. So maybe it's just in a fast track region, him coming back um, in, in, in the fast track region. I do believe that, personally, I do believe that, people, it's my opinion. I do believe that knowing Leon Bailey, we should treat this injury with utmost respect and priority. Giving him time to rest, giving him time to fully fully recover to fully fully recover before he hit touch the field um the doctor knows what's best yes we can say that at the end of the day we have to protect this player he's a special player um i do believe that Aston Villa are hunting the results the immediate results so they will do anything to get their best players on the pitch um which is also a lay and bail is a part of that so i think that he himself need to understand his physique understand where the level that he's at and the level that he should be and be cognizant of how he plays the amount of exertion that he puts out because these things are vitally important in in what in what um in, in what he wants to do going forward so that's my two cents on it. I'm hoping that um, they protect him. Please, please, Aston Villa, protect him. This guy is a crown jewel of Jamaica. It's a special project, special, special project. We want to see him playing at this level for a long, long duration. We have seen many players because of the we, because of the, 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 the excess pressure of the Premier League. We've seen it due to the excess pressure of the Premier League. And that drive to provide the result right right now that also that drive to to ensure that you are at the highest level at all time it puts it puts a lot of pressure on players he's a young guy and i want the best for him and i do believe that which whichever route he take i i'm hoping that it's not the route in which it's a he fast track the the the, the, the the recovery period i'm hoping that's not the case do not fast track your recovery period because england fans are brutal english league um, english premier league fans are brutal whenever they are not seeing the results and you're consistently going back in and out because of injury you are going to be very much disposable 
So I would not advise him to fast track any one of his treatments um, so that he'd be on the, uh, on the pitch as fast as possible. We have seen this. This is now his third injury. This is now his third injury. We have seen it over and over again. These types of things, these types of players. It doesn't matter how well you or good you are or how well you have done for the particular particular club. But as soon as you find you find yourself in and out of the squad due to injuries, there, there's going to be a problem. So I said this last year. I said this when he went off on his second injury. I think this is the third. I think this is the third injury. I said it. Do not fast track your recovery. Do not fast track your recovery. Time will come. Time will come when the same fans who are crying for you to come back off injury will be the same fans who are crying for you to, to not be in the squad or to, to let this club to let go of you. So please, I'm telling you guys, that's how it is. Um, I'll see you guys again. Until next time, people. Military Guna TV. And I am out.